Today we're going to introduce defense, defensive part. We still, you know, all our activity is going to have involve a lot of ball possession, etc. But our coach is going to focus on players who are without the ball and how we defend. So when you're without the ball, the defender, the ma your main responsibilities are listed here. So you know you need to prevent the player with the ball either to dribble forward or pass forward. So the, this is a, one of the biggest points here that this is your responsibility. You not necessarily want to win the ball, but you definitely want to do this. If you've done that, they're not going to score. So uh, also you want to provide pressure on the ball so that the player with the ball doesn't have time and is under pressure and has to do decisions quick. That will increase the rate of his mistakes, you know. And then the other players, besides the providing pressure on the ball, other players are going to cut off or eliminate his other options. So to, again, to reduce the chance for him to play good ball. Okay, so these are key points to keep in mind when you're defending. Uh, extremely important and coach is going to keep reminding you. So today, the first session, uh, for I mean the fourth session, but the, for the first age group, the youngest age group, you know, U7, U8, uh, we're going to do a game 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and this time coach is going to pay attention to defending. So on the body position, especially in 1v1, on support in 2v2, and 3v3, maybe even introduce bounce, but the point is that for every age group, coaches in this warm-up where players with the ball can do whatever they want and be creative. Players with other ball need to defend properly. So we're gonna, coach is gonna focus on that. Okay, for young age group, this will be a good bulk of, a, of a, you know, uh, their activities. They're gonna work with the ball first, just to warm up and have some skills. Then one they want to be two, three be three. And then what they're gonna do is shown right here, it's the green at, or green, yellow are two target players uh, which are neutrals and targets, and here blue plays against red 1v1. So if, let's say, yellow gets a ball here, and it's a blue ball, blue opens up, red is defending, needs to prevent this pass through, if red is saying here, uh, yellow can just play direct, and as well as, but if, like we said, no pass direct, and then, as soon as this, it needs to prevent this pass. And then provide pressure and try to win the ball. If it wins the ball, now he plays with two yellow players against one blue player. Every time the ball goes from one target to another, either direct or through the player, it's a point to the player in possession. So we keep a track of points. Okay? So, again, this defender needs to prevent direct pass forward and then prevent this pass forward and try to win the ball, provide pressure here. As soon as the ball played back, for example, if red, uh, uh, red receives the ball, pressure, play back, blue needs to get back here to prevent this pass through. So a lot of work for blue, hard work, uh, but that's extremely important when you're defending. Okay, second exercise for uh, that age group, and it's going to be uh, actually, and this is the same exercise we're going to do, I think, for the second age group, it's the same exercise. So, please pay attention to this exercise, it's extremely important. Second exercise, uh, the, the next exercise for this age group, and actually it's the last exercise for this age group, is when we just add two more players. Obviously, they feel going to be bigger, but for this uh, particular reasons right now, I'm going to keep this a little the same. And that's going to be the first exercise for the older stage group, where it's 2v2 to two targets. Again, let's say red in possession, blue need to prevent direct pass, and then as soon as ball goes here, pressure, cover. Ball goes back, like this, right? Don't let the split ball, don't stay 
just by your players, otherwise the ball goes, goes directly. Again, every time the ball goes through, either like this, from target to target, it's a point to the team in possession. Okay, simple, not but a little bit more complicated in terms of a, you know, now it's a basically two defenders, they need to, each of them has their responsibility to provide pressure, but also when one's providing pressure, the other one is covering. So that the player of the ball not turning and playing the ball here. Right, this way. So to prevent that option. And that's going to be first exercise, I mean after the 1v1, 2v2, 3v2, after warm up. For the old age group, and uh, uh, I think the mid middle age group, uh, U9, U10, they're not going to do it this time. Can double check. Um, yes, U9, uh, U9, U10 doing only 1v1. So the, the first exercise I showed. So that's all, that's all where we're going to need the youngest age group. So warm up, technical skills warm up, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, with a focus on defending. Then 1v1 one one to 2 targets, 2v2 to 2 to targets. Uh, second age group, gonna have 1v1 one one to 2 targets, after warm up, 1v1 one one to 2v2, three three, three, to 2 targets. Then we're gonna do 3v3, three three. so now we're getting even more complex. 3v3, three three. obviously the size of the field is gonna be different every time. So don't worry, it's not gonna be on the same field as 1v1. One one. Every time the coach is gonna adjust the size. Now with 3v3, again, the same, absolutely the same uh, options. Uh, every player has their responsibility player, but also has to prevent pass through. Uh, there is another rule we add into this exercise, is that the target cannot play the ball directly to target, and target, the field going to be much bigger. And when the ball played to this red player, for example, the red player cannot play back. So now we can really press hard because, and this guy gonna come up, but we can really try to cover it because now this ball back doesn't exist. This does exist, but back to the same target, no, it doesn't exist. You cannot play. So that will teach us to be more aggressive on defense and attack and, and prevent the passing. Also now, this ball is not allowed, so you can, uh, play closer to your player and don't worry about ball through. Okay? Again, the same key concepts. And then the last exercise, uh, and this exercise, actually this 3v3 to two targets, gonna be the same exercise for the uh, older age group. So old age group gonna start from 2v2 to two targets instead of 1v1 and then go to 3v3 to two targets, but with the same restrictions, that no pass back to the target, direct pass back to the target. By the way, if the play, yeah, target played the ball here, and this player played the ball to this player, now you can play back. You cannot just immediately play back. Just this immediate pass that is not allowed. But when you play to one of your partners and then play back, it's fine. So, uh, blue in this case needs to really quickly uh, defend, uh, be aggressive on defending. And then the last exercise um, will be um, this one, where there is seven players, like, okay, like we, were, we already did that, we did it against three uh, monkeys. Uh, the field going to be a little bit smaller than what we did first time. Uh, we have seven players, like, six players like, like this on perimeter, two on long side, one on short, one in the middle. And then we have goals in green behind each. It's going to be probably calls. So now what? And then there is a four mark uh, uh, monkeys. What happens is blue just possesses the ball against red. But if red win the ball, they can pre score on any goal. Okay. So what we want here is when this player has the ball. Let's move him here. We want to have player pressuring, and now remember, we want to eliminate passing the options. So we want to prevent this option, we want to prevent this option, and we want to prevent this option. This way, we're trying to lock. 
This player who is pressing needs to press really hard. We don't want to give any time to this player on the ball. Press hard, induce him, force him to make a mistake. Here needs to cut off this option. Uh, it's also exercise for defending for blues. If blue lose the ball, they need to defend the goals. They need to get in. They don't stay here and chill out. We want to get there and help to win the ball back. As soon as blue win the ball back, everybody to their positions. So we spread out and make it feel big. Okay? So it's a constant game, red against blues. Blue always have a numbers up, but red can eliminate options by providing proper angles. So if this player comes to this blue with the ball this way, it basically cuts off this part of the field. Now it makes life much easier for us to, you know, to uh, win the ball. So we need to cut off the field by providing the proper angle of pressure to force it one way. You can force this way, it's just going to be harder, right? It's a little bit more field. So you want to, in a smaller space, force in a smaller space. All right. And then eliminate this passing option. Don't sleep. Okay? So that's all the practice, that's pretty much it. Again, defending is a hard work, but extremely important. Extremely important and actually rewarding. In this game, if Red win the ball, they can score, so they can have some reward right away. Um, Blue try to prevent it and learning um, uh, defending himself. So for, again, if this Red win on the ball, we want to first immediately cut off scoring options then immediately provide pressure, right? And then cut off the passing options, right? So this way we'll win the ball back easier. Okay, so I think it's very intense session. I want you guys pay attention to coaches' uh, points and as usually have fun and learn something. So this is the last SIQ session for the winter camp. I want to thank everybody, especially players and their parents, for your time tr and trust in Soccer IQ Academy to teach your child to play proper, proper soccer. I hope this camp was useful for the child. I hope players learned a lot on how to play. And the most important, I hope they enjoyed the training. This is the key to success, to always enjoy the training. Uh, parents, thank you very much for trusting us. I also want to thank coaches for their dedication. Obviously, without them, SIQ wouldn't exist. Okay, so I want to say that our spring and summer camps are open for registration. So. Uh, the spot, the space is pretty limited uh, on some camps, especially spring has been filling up very quickly. So please go ahead and um, register if you want to participate. Um, this is the website where you can find all information. If you have any questions, info at siqacademy.com, one of the emails. Any email which has SIQ Academy in it is will work for sure. Or you can directly email me if you know my personal email, toilet.rupsoft at gmail.com. Okay, but it all goes to me. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope your players gonna show different level of understanding of soccer in spring season. And as IQ coach is gonna be at the fields quite a bit so Hopefully they will see the players and will be able to watch some of the games. Alright, thank you very much. Bye.